Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 9, English is part 8. That means you have already got 7 lessons. You must go through that lesson. Now please pay your attention on the board. Sums given from ML Agarwal's book, exercise 8, sum number 30. You will get the sum in your book and here also it is written clearly. After writing the sum, we have to find out the value of x, y and z. We have to find out the factor of this number. Without doing LCM, we will not get a factor. This is why this LCM you have to do in fair. So, after doing LCM, we are getting 49392 equal to, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 to the power 4, and 3 square and 7 cube. Now, this equal to this. Then, x to the power 4, 2 to the power 4, power is equal. y square, 3 square, power is equal. And z cube, 7 cube, power equal. So, we may write x to the power 4 equal to 2 to the power 4, this and this. Powers are same in the both sides. We have power sense. This is why we may write x equal to 2, y equal to 3 and z equal to 7. These are the values of x, y and z. Sum is completed. Next sum. If this equal to this, find, a, find x and y where a, b are different positive primes. Solution. Here, this is given clearly. We have to simplify. This is the root. So, this whole to the power 1 by 3 and this will remain as it is. This a by b whole to the power m, that is a to the power m into b to the power m. In by that law, this a to the power 6 will, uh, will be, this power will be multiplied by 1 by 3. And here, this power will be multiplied by 1 by 3. Then we have to simplify this, this uh, will be cancelled, then it will be a square and this is by simplifying, we are getting b to the power minus 4 by 3 and it will remain as it is. Bases are same, a, a and b, b. This is why a square equal to a to the power x, b to the power minus 4 by 3 equal to b to the power 2y. Bases are same, so x equal to 2 power will be equal to y equal to minus 4 by 3 by simplifying we are getting minus 2 by 3. Therefore, the value of x 2 and value of y that is minus 2 by 3. Sum is completed. Next sum. If this equal to this, prove that this equal to 0 where P and Q are different positive primes. After writing the sum, then we have to simplify. This is whole to the power minus half. This is why that we may write 1 by P plus Q. Here P to the power minus 1, that is 1 by P, and plus Q to the power minus 1, that 1 by Q. It will remain as it is. Then we have to do the LCM of P and Q, that is PQ, and here will be Q, and here will be P. P plus Q and Q plus P, that means P plus Q. These two factors are same, so it will be cancelled. Then by simplifying, we are getting 1 by PQ equal to P to the power A, Q to the power B. This we have to bring in numerator. Here power is nothing, that means 1. Here is power is nothing, that means 1. When it will come in numerator, then power will be minus. This is why it will be P to the power minus 1 and it will be Q to the power minus 1. Now bases are same. Bases are same, so power will be equal. So A to the power minus 1 and B to the power minus 1. Now we have to prove this A plus B plus 2 equal to 0. We have got the value of A and B. After writing the statement, we are, we are taking the LHS A plus B plus 2. Then we have to put the values of A and B. By putting and simplifying, we are getting 0. And I said 0. So 0 equal to RHS proved. If you follow the step attentively, easily you will understand. Very simple sum. Okay. Thank you, everybody.